Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Roland. I want to welcome you to my website, my radio programs, my books, my YouTube videos, my articles, my blog posts. Um, mainly two things is what you're going to get. Number one, how to deal with stress. Most people get upset too easily. That's 90, If you're like 99% of people, that's your problem. You get upset too easily. You get upset then you say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing, okay? Make things worse. And then, not wanting to see that you failed, you hide in thinking. So there you are in thinking, planning, scheming, worrying, okay? Reliving the past, worrying about the future. Not good. So what you need to do is two things. Number one, you need to try by little meditation. The meditation helps you to stand back from thinking. Stand back from worry. Stand back from planning and scheming and regrets and all of those things. Stand back. Look at things objectively. Okay? You become the thinker. See? When you're lost in your thinking, you're down there, you, you basically are at the mercy of whatever thoughts come, and most of them come from the outside. You don't even realize that your thoughts come from the outside and the emotions. So, most people have a problem with emotions. They get angry. They get upset. See? Then afterwards, they feel bad. And so, uh, you can see how that's just not a way to live. Humans are supposed to be self-impelled. We have intuition. And we're supposed to flow from intuition. And if you were to flow from intuition, as a matter of fact, a lot of people have anxiety. One of the causes of anxiety is the fact that you sense deep down in your being that you're not flowing from into, into intuition. You sense that you're being outer directed, pushed and pulled and prodded in, in different directions until you feel like you're out of control. And you try to regain control by becoming resentful and that makes it worse. So you need to stand back, take a step back, literally, okay, and figuratively, and also spiritually. It's possible to take a mental step back spiritually. That's what you need, okay? Then the second thing that I have for you is uh, some really good practical information about relationships. That's the second problem that we have. We get in arguments with our partner. We have bad communication with our kids. See, we resent other people. We get angry at them. There's hurt feelings so on with members of our own family even so that's not good so what you need is some is some simple guidance see you probably notice that a lot of times the guidance that we get from others the advice that we get from others it's either not very good or it's okay but somehow it does it's not it's not strong enough it doesn't penetrate enough it's not it's not perfect. See, what you need is perfect guidance. Now, I'm not saying that I'm the source of perfect guidance, but I'm saying that if you practice my meditation and you got back in touch with your intuition, okay, then you read my books, for example, and my books bear witness to what you would see for yourself intuitively. See, you've always doubted yourself. You had a, you sort of had a sense of which way to go, and you sort of, you know, a lot of times you knew more, you 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 knew more than the people that were giving you advice. They guided you wrong. Then you think, what did I do that for? Didn't work out. But you doubted yourself. So what you need is something on the outside to confirm what you've always known in your heart. Okay. And that's what the um, my materials will help. They'll bear witness. They'll confirm, see, on the outside, what you already know in your heart. So it's like this, you're discovering it. You're discovering what you already knew. See how beautiful that is? It's very simple. It is so simple. Life could be so simple. Remember the old expression, falling off a log? It's as easy as falling off a log. Well, life could actually be that way for you. But it's become very complicated, see, because you... You've been out of directed and you've made gone the wrong way based on wrong information and wrong advice and wrong everything. 
not to mention the fact that your emotions then began to play tricks and your mind began to play tricks on you. For example, when you were upset at people, you got angry at your wife or your husband or your mom or your dad or your brother or your child. You got angry, resentful. Then what? Then thoughts came to your mind, negative thoughts, all kinds of negative thoughts. See? Then you felt so guilty, guilty for the negative thoughts you swept them under the carpet. Then you went out in the world and tried to make everything right or you tried to be extra nice to people. See, most of us become people pleasers. We, we sense that we're, that we're not getting things right with, in our relationships. We sense it and we feel guilty about it. So we, we try, our ego tries to make things right. So you roll up your sleeves and you try to be extra nice to people. The problem with that is when you're extra nice to people, what happens? You spoil them. You take, they take advantage of you, then you resent them all over again. Or you're so nice, see, so obliging and so needy for their reassurance that you drive them away. See? So you need a little bit of basic training about relationships, and you can get that from my books. The meditation gets you centered, calmed down, and regrounded. And then, with a little bit of tutoring on the outside, you'll be on your way. Okay? So I strongly, highly recommend you give the meditation a try. You can start with the easy meditation. It's free. The easy meditation is free. It's very short. It's easy. It's quick. Easy to learn. It's great for busy people. It's not complicated. Okay? Then after that, after you get centered, grounded, calmed down, back in touch with your own inner ground of good. Then you could read a little bit of my books or my articles or something, and then your eyes will be open. You begin to see, oh, I see, you will say, I see, see? And then the insights that you have will have a positive effect on uh, everything when you start to live intuitively, okay? Then, and conflict will cease. When you start doing what you know is right in your heart, then you won't have conflict anymore because you're, you're living intuitively and doing what you know is right in your heart. Okay? So you won't have conflict with yourself anymore. Okay? Then you'll, you'll walk in grace. Walk intuitively. See what I mean? That's what's called the spiritual walk. You can't learn it on the outside. You can read about it. See, you can read my things, which are good, or you can read other things. See, other people have said the same thing. Some of the great mystics, uh, for example, people from the church, uh, writers, they've said they've said the same thing. Christ, Paul, Peter, they talked about forgiveness. Um, you know, patience, long suffering. Um, they talked about those things which you will, re which you have always known in your heart are right, but you doubted, and people tempted you to become angry and upset. Then you didn't live the way you really wanted to. See. So, um, the meditation helps you to actually get back in touch with your own inner ground of good, whereby you can see and realize, and then follow through and live life as you ought. Okay? And then it'll be beautiful. My name is Roland.